Good morning, are we ready? All right. How many of you guys wanted to stay at school today and didn't want to come over here? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Jerry, you're the only one who doesn't want to be here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's wonderful to have all of you here out in this uh, beautiful amphitheater on City Hall Plaza on a, uh, just a spectacular June day. Today is the day that uh, we celebrate the flag of the United States of America. And we've put together a, a, a great program to help us do that, and we appreciate everyone that's here with us this morning. I'd like to open today's ceremonies by inviting my good friend and uh, World War II veteran, George Cataldo, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would everybody please stand? My voice is a little weak today because I sang for four hours last night. But face the flag, remove your hats, put them over your heart. I pledge allegiance of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty for all. Please be seated. I get it. I'm, I, I get it. No, I, I get it. No, I get it. No, 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 let's just skip that right now, okay. So at this time, we'd like to invite up uh, Steve Abrams with the invocation. Good morning. As I look out amongst this flow, future leaders of the world, it looks amazing. I'm so excited and honored to be a Brocktonian and proud member of the United States Armed Services. It's an honor to stand before you. As I look out amongst the next leaders of this city, I'm proud to invoke the blessings of God upon this assembly. Let us pray. Most holy God, we thank you for this time of reflection. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your tender kindness and we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for each and every child that's represented here today under my voice, God. We ask you to guide us in all that we say and do. Remember this flag is a nation, God. It's a history. It's not just a piece of material. It's the history of a nation. Every man is created equal. Let us think of others higher than we think of ourselves. And we ask these blessings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In your Son, Jesus' name. And we all can say amen. Amen. At this time, uh, we'd like to ask everyone to please rise as the Brockton High School Concert Choir performs our national anthem.
Please be seated. Outstanding, Mr. Cunningham, outstanding. Just the way we rehearsed it. At this time, uh, I would like to invite up uh, as our keynote speaker, former Marine and former Navy SEAL, Anthony O'Brien. Thank you. And uh, especially thanks to the kids for being here today. How about the, uh, the what do we call it, chorus? The concert choir. You got to get the verbiage down right, right? Um, a cappella, harmony. Um, awesome job, guys. Great job. Love it, love it. Um, happy Flag Day to uh, America. Happy Flag Day to Brockton. Um, what a great day. It's so nice that the wind is blowing so we can see our flag. Um, for a lot of us uh, that truly, truly, truly love our country, Flag Day is every day. Thank you especially to the mayor for a great job putting on these kind of events. Um, he and the staff here have a very busy schedule. Thank you to the, to the city staff uh, for all they do every day. I'm gonna put on my binoculars. There we go. And especially thank you to, to the schools, to the children that are here today. Who's here? Is it, is it Pluff? Where's Pluff? Okay, great job. Is it, what grade is this? Is this seventh grade? Seventh grade, any other grades? Just seven. Mighty seven. And what about Arnone? Arnone's here? Where are you? What grades are known? What grades? Second grade, any other grade? First grade. Mighty second grade, good job. I had a chance to talk to uh, Miss Maz. And you know, the American flag doesn't just represent America, but it's all over the world. And had a great, great chance to talk about service. I served in the military. There's a lot of people here that are serving and serving in our great municipality here in Brockton. But I can tell you right now, for you teachers, and there's a lot of you here today, nobody does better service than you do for our country and our community. And I mean that. Very, very important. And, and some have served in other capacities, including I was just talking to Ms. Maz, where are you? Ms. Maz, there she is. Served in the Peace Corps before becoming a teacher. How cool is that? And when she worked in the Peace Corps, she was carrying our flag, and our flag is doing the job. And we salute that. When I was in the military, I served in 30 countries. All right, everybody knows there's 50 states. I'm not gonna ask you how many states there are, okay? But how many countries there are? 192. There's 192 countries in the world, and I served in 30 of them. Trust me, the American flag is everywhere. It is a flag of the world, and that's evident no other place better than here in Brockton, where we have a legacy of longtime ethnic diversity, as we can see here with this great crowd, and also a legacy of leadership and service. Doing the job, and we salute that. This is gonna be participation, kids, so I want you to participate with me. Every day, our flag reminds us of soldiers ordered overseas serving in harm's way every day, doing the job, and we salute that. And I ask you to join me by saying, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Oh, I can't hear you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Every day, our flag reminds us of municipal leaders, many of them here today, and we thank you for your service. Serving the public, especially including our police and fire, serving in harm's way every day. Doing the job, we salute that, and I ask you to join me for our police and fire and our municipal leaders in saying thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Good job, Arnone. Every day our flag reminds us of municipal leaders serving our public, including our teachers, forming our next generation of leaders, just like Chaplain Steve mentioned. Doing the job, we salute that, and I ask you to join me again in saying we thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Every day our flag reminds us. Okay, you're not gonna repeat everything I say. 
Trust me, there's people over here that, that want me to, to finish up soon. Okay, and I don't blame them. And we got a lot to do today as we do every day. There's many people in America who do a great job supporting our government. We don't always agree. And that's okay, and it's one of the beauties of America, because we can do that, and we can do it publicly. But for those that do support our, our government, our American way of life, they are patriotic Americans, and I ask you to join me. They're doing the job, we salute that. Please join me to patriotic Americans saying thank you for your support. And lastly, every day our flag reminds us of our students and our children who work hard at school and help out at home. You're doing the job, we salute that. Please everybody join me in saying thank you so much for all you do. Thank you so much for all you do. I grew up here in Brockton. I work in Brockton. I'm proud of our Brockton and I'm proud of you. It's an honor to salute our flag with you. Be our flag. Do the job. I salute you. God bless you, and God bless America. So at this time, we would uh, like to once again uh, ask the Brockton High School Concert Choir to perform for us, God Bless America. Please, everyone, rise for this. Awesome. Please be seated. Incredible job, guys. At this time, uh, on behalf of the city of Brockton, I would uh, like to issue officially a proclamation recognizing today as Flag Day in the United States. Whereas 242 years ago, a small band of patriots declared independence, proclaiming in one voice that we are free to determine our own destiny and carry out the work of self-governance. Driven by their unyielding spirit and drawing inspiration from the stars and stripes, a string of 13 colonies later expanded to become a united 50 states. Throughout our history, the American flag has steadfastly served as an emblem of this great experiment in democracy. Whereas with hands over hearts, Americans of all backgrounds and beliefs have long saluted old, <laughs> have long saluted old glory and honored its legacy. Our flag persists as a powerful representation of freedom and opportunity. Waving high above Capitol buildings and courthouses, military bases and embassies across the globe and on the distant surface of the moon, it calls on each of us to remember our obligations to the Republic for which it stands and to carry forward the unwavering optimism that defines us. And whereas the American flag invokes pride in our citizens and hope 
and those who come to our shores in search of a brighter tomorrow. And in recognition of the ways it has embodied our ideals and sustained our nation, let us pay tribute to the Star Spangled Banner and continue striving to create a more perfect and indivisible union with liberty and justice for all. Therefore, be it resolved that I, Bill Carpenter, as the mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim today, June 14th, as United States Flag Day in the city of Brockton. And I'd like to bring up, um, if we could ask uh, Steve Abrams and Tony O'Brien to come back up just for a second, I'd like to present them with the official proclamation. Both of those gentlemen continue to serve our veterans, and uh, Steve is doing some incredible work uh, in our city uh, with outreach and providing support to those who served us. And uh, Steve, we want to recognize the great work that you do every day in this city, so thank you on behalf of our veterans. At this time, oh, thank you. I wanted to make sure I recognize some elected officials here that are in attendance today. Uh, City Councilor Jean Bradley Derencourt has joined us today. Uh, from the Southeastern Regional School Committee, Mark Lindy. And representing our state legislative delegation, Representative Jerry Cassidy. Thank you all for being here with us today. So I want to invite uh, Steve and Anthony, Tony, if you guys would like to take the duty of raising the flag for us and yep right and we'll ask everyone to please stand for the raising of our colors and as the flag is raised the Brockton High School Concert Choir will perform our grand old flag It's awesome. You know, we raise a, a number of different flags here throughout the course of the year, and uh, it's one of the things I really enjoy doing. But with all the flag ceremonies that we have in the course of the year, this is the one time that we do raise one flag that represents all of us here in the city of Brockton. And as, uh, as Anthony O'Brien referenced, you know, I think this flag can mean different things to different people, but I ask particularly the students that are here today to take a minute today to reflect upon what that American flag means to you. Uh, just recently, I, I had the opportunity a few days ago to meet a number of Brocktonians who had just become American citizens, just become naturalized citizens. And I don't think I've ever met any more patriotic people in my life than those folks who were so proud and their families were so proud 
that they had become American citizens. And for many others of us that may take what we have here for granted and the flag for granted, I personally, I think about people in my family that served in different wars and conflicts over the year. My grandfather who fought in World War II, World War I, uh, my dad who fought in World War II, cousins of mine that served in Vietnam. And when I look at that flag, I look at the service that members of my family performed and not just in defense of the flag, but in defense of what that flag stands for and, and what it represents in terms of what we have here in the United States of America. So I ask particularly the students, take a minute today to just think about what that American flag means to you. At this point, uh, that will conclude our ceremonies. I appreciate everyone being here with us today. And uh, please remember, today is Flag Day. <laughs>